So I recently upgraded this Jubatus B416 to brushless. It has a cogging issue. I'll show you what I mean. When you give it throttle, even just slight throttle, you hear that cogging, you can see it. It's like real jittery when it wants to go. I did get a comment saying maybe if I reprogram it, that would fix the issue. But the problem was I didn't have a program card, which I do now. I have a Google RC program card that I can hook up to this car and change the settings on. Now this is a pretty generic one. It's been rebranded by a bunch of different companies. So here's a closer look at what the items are. And it tells you here like operation mode, motor rotation, start mode, which we're gonna move that up to like level seven or eight, uh, minimum forward strength. We're gonna move that up to see if that does anything. So let's uh, let's change these settings on here. We're gonna change uh, number three and number four and see if it makes a difference. I feel that the cogging issue is I got a bad motor with this brushless ESC motor combo. And I think that's what the issue is, but hey, it doesn't hurt to try. So we're gonna try with this program card and see what happens. So we plug that in right like that. And there you can see the signal and then the plus and minus. So we're gonna turn the ESC on. And now we're in item number one, which is set at four. So you could just click through where it says item and it's actually not even spelled right. It's they spelled it I-T-E-N. So, but that's supposed to be item. Uh, at least there they got it spelled correctly. And then on the back here, it says item with an M. You have 17 different options. So you can just click through item. Now I'm in number two, number three, number four. So number four is start mode and it says I'm at number four. So I'm gonna change the value to like, Let's, let's go to seven and we'll hit okay. okay. So now you heard the beep. So now it programmed that to the ESC, but let's just scroll through here. Number five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. When you look at this, you would think you're in 12, but actually you're in 11. You just have to count where you're at after 10. So now I'm in 11 and now that would be 12. 13, 14, 15. It's kind of confusing. You just have to remember, you have to count once you get past 10, 11. Now, you, like I said, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Now you're back to one. It's pretty basic. You have your value here. You can change to whichever value. You can reset it, reset to the factory default for that item. And then when you pick when you pick your item and your value and you get to the one you want, you hit okay. And then that's what programs it into the ESC. So now we have it programmed for a seven on start mode, a level seven out of 10. So now that's all changed. And I also have it at number eight for the value for minimum forward, which is like 20%. So let's fire this up. Okay, we have a bind. Let's see, did we get rid of the cogging? No, it still does it. So I'm pretty sure that this motor is bad. So I have one on the way. So hopefully that is the difference. It's also a different size motor. This is a 2440, 4600 KV. I'm getting a 2445, 5200 KV. We're gonna see if I have the same cogging issue with the new motor. Even if I do or I don't, we're gonna do some speed runs on the 5200 KV motor. So. Thanks for checking out the video. Hopefully you learned a little bit more about this program card. If you do have a Google RC, uh, ESC, or any of the other generic brands that 
this card can program. And I'll leave a link to this down in the description if you're interested in picking one of these up. Thanks for watching. If you didn't already, click the subscribe button and hopefully you come back to join me when I put the new motor in and do some more speed tests.